Now, every time we go to upgrade our smartphones, we stress over one particular thing. And that is, do we have enough space on our phones uh, for all the pictures and movies that we've taken? And as we go to the new phone, we find ourselves maybe having to upgrade the phone's capacity in order to support the photos that we have and the movies we have, and more importantly, so that we can take some more. Ever find yourself maybe deleting a picture so that you can take another picture, deleting a video so you can take another video? I have tons of friends that do this very thing because they don't have enough capacity on their phones to be able to record or take photos. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you a solution from TerraMaster that's going to offload all of your photos, all of your videos, and really free up your phone's capacity. This is a really advanced uh, network appliance uh, solution that is going to allow you to not just store photos, but it's going to store and back up your laptops, your tablets, your iPad, your Mac Book Pro. And I'll tell you, I've had friends that have come to me in tears that their MacBook Pro has either locked up or will not start and all their photos are on it and they never took in a backup or they never made a backup, not because they don't want to, but because they don't have the space available to do so. So this solution, this is the TerraMaster F4 SSD, the super fast solid state network solution for storage that's going to automatically back up your photos. It's going to back up your PC, your Mac. It's device agnostic when it comes to operating systems. And I'll tell you, now during this time, because photos and videos are so prevalent, because they're such high quality, 4K, 8K and higher, having something like this is a must have. It's not an option. So let's take a look at this solution. I'll share with you the software, which is super powerful. But then also we're really going to focus on how can you easily back up your phone and use this as a backup solution. As a creator, having one of these for storing videos and content that I create is incredibly convenient. But you may not be a creator. You may just be someone who needs extended storage for your phone. So let's get right to it. Now, the TerraMaster F4 SSD basically is a four bay device that can support um, solid state memory for storage. And so that changes things completely. It gives you a smaller footprint, plus also it gives you faster access to storage. If you look at many of the laptops today are solid state and they're fast. They're not, they don't have the physical drives anymore. And for those of you who've been using PCs for a very long time or Macs, you remember when you would turn them on, you would hear the spin up. You would hear the sound, which was the drive spinning up. This is all solid state. The cool thing about the solution, and I'll show you on my phone, is that with it will automatically back up your photos and it will back it up on your network. So you don't have to worry about public cloud. You don't have to worry about any subscriptions. Basically, this is something that you can have in your home connected to your network, and it is going to back up for you. You could also set it up so that it has multiple user, I would say, um, access so that your photos and files are stored, your spouse's photos and files, your kids, whoever is part of your network, they're all separate and not commingled. And I think that's a great solution as well. Now, encryption is a big question or a concern for all of us. It's like, how do you make sure this is protected? Well, there is local encryption. There is a lot of different encryption options. There's even a safe drive option, very similar to what you have inside of the Samsung line where you can create a, a secure folder. And it, the whole thing is secure, but you can have a secure folder that's inside of a secure folder where you can put let's say, uh, passports, driver's license, legal documentation, things that you want to make sure that you keep close. 5G high-speed network support, right? It's gigabit, which means that if you have a fast network, you're going to be able to take advantage of this at the highest speeds. But I, I know many of my friends, none of them have, you know, 5 gig, uh, gigabit type network connectivities. So what does that mean to you? And what I would say is that it makes it future-proof. So as you improve your network or as, let's say you move to a different home that has different wired connectivity, you're going to be able to have the fastest possible speed. And if not, when you connect this to your internet, uh, most of those routers are at least gigabit uh, at least. So you'll be able to make sure that you're not slowing things down because of your network storage solution that you have here. Uh, you also then have the ability to have up to 20 different people connected independently. So this has a lot of power, has a lot of capabilities. And it's incredibly simple to use. Matter of fact, when we see the application, you're going to see how very visual it is, how very streamlined it is. And there's so much capabilities that we're really going to narrow down our focus to really backups. And because there's just so much more you can do. By the way, if you're looking for something to be able to watch movies, you can install a program called Plex, which I've been 
probably the founding member uh, when it came out many, many years ago. I have a lifetime subscription, which just allows you to play on your smart TV, Android TV, you know, either Google TV or let's say, for example, Apple TV. Uh, what is it? Amazon, the, the Fire Sticks and things like that. They all have the ability to stream this application and it allows you to watch all your content from your TV. Right. Great, great stuff. So let's take a closer look. Now, the packaging for the Terra Master 4-Bay All SSD Drive or NAS solution is pretty straightforward and it's small. When you take a look at this, it's really, really tiny. Because again, the solution that you're seeing in here is, is small too. We actually reviewed the 8-Bay uh, version, I think it was last year. And I have that running right now on my network too. So great solution. Uh, let's flip this over a little bit so you can see what's going on here. So again, everything that we talked about, the fact that you can store, have... Um, you have that five gigabit type connection that you have the four bays. All this stuff is here. We're not going to go through everything all over again because um, we've covered it here. But I'll highlight just a couple of things here just to make sure that syncs really well. Again, you do have the ability to monitor or actually view 4K video content. Uh, you can access your files remotely. One of the things I almost forgot to mention, not just in your network, but you can set it up so that you can access it if you're not at home, which is great if you're on vacation. I know many people that go on vacation, something happens, they lose their phone, it goes into the water or something else happens and they lost not just what they had, but even the photos that they took. So you would be able to do that with this remotely as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it up so that we can see what's going on here. All right, so in the box, you're gonna find a user manual, very thin, right? We'll put that to the side. We'll go ahead and remove this foam. Stop. All right. And then here you have the drive. I gotta tell you, look at this. This is super tiny. We're gonna see this in a second. Move that out of the way. You also have this little box here that's gonna contain a lot of accessories. So we'll put that on the side. And you can see there's not a lot to this. We'll head to the side there. And we'll, let's start with the accessories before we look at the actual uh, drive itself. So what do you have going on here? A couple things. Uh, you have a five gigabit cable so you don't have to buy that so you can connect this to your home router or your service provider router so if you have like a cable company or some type of company that's providing you service you can use that you have screwdriver uh, it's phillips and then you have the power what else do we have here and we have some additional screws all right so we'll put this to the side and we'll see what else we got over here and this is this is where this thing is super compact and what i wa also want to say is that it also, it also is very, very light, right? Uh, really like this product. Um, again, I have the, say the larger version because it's double the capacity, but we have the, pre, the other version. I have the eight one um, in my home right now. And while I'm opening this up, let me tell you a little bit about how I use it. So I have my uh, TerraMaster. Uh, what I'm doing with it is I use it to both back up our YouTube content and then also sync it to the cloud. So I have a 30 gigabit subscription service that allows me, is it 30 gigabytes? I think it is 30 gigabytes. Just massive uh, storage solution that allows me to basically take all my content, all the video that we do, and every video, a video like this is gonna be maybe about four to eight gigabytes, which is a lot. And instead of having it stored um, solely in my home, I have it stored and then backed up to the cloud. That way if I need to get something, right? So here is, the, here is the actual solution. Look how small this is. So it also almost looks like the size of a Mac mini, right? Very small. I don't have ginormous hands, but you can see how my hands cover this up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna re release this back area right here so you can see where the drives are. A couple of things to highlight here is that, and this is very similar to the, uh, to the eight version that I mentioned, power on the top. On the back, you have two USB uh, connections. They're high speed connections a USB-C, Ethernet, you have video out as well, and then you have your power going on there. And then on the bottom, you have two fans, and then you have these rubberized feet. So this is literally designed to be standing up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out so that you can see what's going on here. And, and it is really straightforward, guys. So notice, one, two, three, four, right? Pretty straightforward. You would put NVMEs, you can get this um, on Amazon or any other marketplace. You get this, you plug them in, right? And then you turn on the device and you configure it. And it's visual. It will walk you through. And it does have, again, heat sink over here. It has memory. So this is not just processing. Um, it's not just a storage drive that has access to drives, but it actually is like a mini computer that 
has a processor and memory working to serve your content, do the backup, do the updates, do all the things that you want to do. So it's a really, really interesting and advanced solution here. So you can see a lot, not a lot to be uh, to write home about per se, but you can see everything that's going on here. And it's pretty simple. You just unscrew this, you put your NVMe in, you put it in place, and then you power it up. There is a lot that you can do with this uh, NAS system, but we're gonna really focus on the convenience aspects of this uh, solution. For those of you who are really looking to have the convenience of backing up, again, your phone, your laptop, your tablet, files, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, once you have your drives installed and you have everything set to go, this is the interface that you'll be presented with. Now, I'm just gonna go over a couple options because once again, you can get lost in the application. But what I'm going to be focusing on is how can I use this to both back up my phone, back up drives, uh, the things that you need to do, because let's face it, like I mentioned in the intro, many of us uh, purchase phones that have limited space. You purchase laptops that have limited space. And I know many friends who have to delete actually photos off their iPhone so they can continue to take more photos. So let's take a look at some of the things that we have going on here. So first of all, you're presented with a couple options. Uh, here uh, you have uh, your start, you have your file manager, applications. Uh, you also then have your backup. You can go into your control panel. You can go into your app center. Uh, there is this uh, application called the dock manager or the Docker manager, and then you can get some support. Let's go ahead and go into the first area here, into the start area. And when you go into the start area, there's several things that you can look at. You have your um, same options that you have at the very top. So this is kind of like it takes you from the top to the things that are going on here. We're going to jump into like the control panel just for a couple seconds. Now in control panel, this is where you have all of your configuration choices. And I will tell you that if you've never worked with the NAS solution and you're looking to have this as a solution for a um, home backup solution that is subscription free, then this at first is going to look like a lot. Uh, but there's just a few things that you have to focus on for, for your specific use. First of all, you do have an area where you can set up your users. And in the user area, you're going to be able to set up your family, yourself, your machines, however you're looking to back things up, and you can set them up with specific roles. You also then have user groups. And in the user group section, you're going to be able to add your users. Uh, grew into groups so it's easier to manage those users as opposed to dealing with individual access to each. Your shared folder, this is where you're going to set up your shared folder. You're going to see that I've set up uh, several uh, shared folders. I actually have two of them. One for Plex, which is um, our media center solution, and the second is for uh, our file area. So you notice I have this one called CES because uh, I had a lot of CES files that I was bringing over, but I also have other folders inside. Now we'll jump on down to the area that's called Storage Manager. We're going to look at our storage drives. Uh, now the, you have a lot of options of connectivity that you can have in here. I have a 222 uh, gigabyte um, setup right now. Now once you choose an applications, you're going to get into the applications that are currently installed on your TerraMaster NAS solution. And you can see there's some that are that just come with, right? They're not they're not things that you've added, but they already exist. And then there are things that I add. So, for example, um, I added the Cloud Sync, uh, the TerraMaster um, Sync client. Um, I added also the Plex Media Server, and I did these because I use these to synchronize drives on my uh, Mac, my desktop Mac, and bring that down into a specific this drive, and then I also have it go to the cloud. So I have it backed up multiple ways. So I'm going to my NAS solution, but then I'm also leveraging my NAS to back it up in the cloud. So if something were to ever happen to my physical NAS, I have a backup solution that is virtual and not present. Now, once I go into Cloud Sync, I can see what drive I have connected to. Um, in this case, I am connected to my Google Drive, and I'm using it to back up not the entire uh, solution, but certain directories that I synchronize. And that really helps me, especially when it comes to some of the uh, work that we do with our Etsy store, where we have files that can be accessed from actually multiple solutions. And having the, uh, the actual NAS solution handle the synchronization for me is really a time saver for me. I'm not going to take you through the entire directory structure as so I want to keep some of that stuff confidential on how things I have things set up, but I want to show you what I have going on on my phone. So basically I have a multiple backup solution that's coming from my Samsung. And what I'm doing is I'm backing up 
all of the photo room uh, photos that we edit that are used for our social media or our marketplace and Etsy. And here what you see are all the files that are automatically backed up as soon as they appear on my phone. And thanks to the synchronization software, it automatically backs up to the specific drive. Now, in addition to your standard storage solution, you do have a really cool feature, which is very similar to what you find on uh, some of the, your phones nowadays, especially Samsung has this, and this is a safe box. This is a, uh, an encrypted area that requires an additional password to gain access to it to see what you have in that directory. But it's a great place where you can store really sensitive documents that we want to have extra, extra protection. Now, the App Store has a lot of applications that are going to be able to uh, really create workflows, automation for everything that's going on in your NAS solution. It actually makes it even smarter, right? Because you can see that there's a lot of things going on here. So you have backup tools, which is what I typically use, media server type things. Uh, you'll notice that you have also the software that you need in order to work with your Mac. And this is what I have going on in our Mac. You have your TerraSync software as well. You also then have Plex. So if you would like to run a media server, you can do that. And really, when you think about media, since you're backing up your phone to this device or your or a series of phones, any of your photos, any of your movies can be served on any TV, any phone, any tablet, any laptop, anywhere in your home or even outside of your home. Now, looking in the installed area, you'll see what I have installed. I have the CloudSync, as I mentioned, the TerraSync. I have the Plex servers as well. Uh, you can, if you're really interested in learning more about Plex, there's lots of different videos on Plex on YouTube. I've owned Plex since launch. Like, I'm an OG, so I've had this for years. It's a great solution, and it's uh, been around for a very long time. Here you have your backup solutions that I use as well. So, guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.